Yeah, stop here, stop here. Hey, now get out and pop the hood. Buddy, come on. Just check the oil, I'll give you a five. Hey, it's Jacob Gleason for Laura Rose. She went where? Willoughby. And that's in Fort Greene? Fort Greene! <clears throat> Excuse me. I will, thanks a lot. Honky tonk, honky tonk. Sorry, horns really do a number on me. Was that you getting checked out of the hearing with my friend Paul? Paul's a hammy hothead. Hot ham on Paul. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I guess you could call him that, yeah. Wouldn't be the worst he's endured. Let me tell you something. Laura is our resident expert on Hamilton, but if you really want to understand the way things work in this town, and you can get him to talk to you, take Paul for dinner. Yeah, I did that. And? He seemed like a bit of a quack, to tell the truth. Now, that is unkind. And it is also incorrect. So I, don't, I don't mean nothing by it. I'm just saying... I don't know. He got a real bug up his ass about Moses Randolph. It's hard to believe they're brothers. I have no idea how you came by that information. But I'll venture it wasn't from Paul. It's a knowledge I've never even shared with my staff. Why? Because it is dangerous for Paul. Paul Randolph understands the way a city works like very few do. The living machinery of it. He has proposed a master plan for the redesign of the state's electrical grid that is a work of genius. That guy? That guy. Everybody knows it's genius. So even his brother won't be able to deny him. Why would he deny him? Because it was Moses Randolph who destroyed him. Oh, come on! What makes a person want to destroy their own brother? He takes more sadistic joy in hurting people than any man I have ever seen. He, he ruined Paul. Purposefully and relentlessly destroyed his career. He's more dangerous than ever now. Why now? Because the Board of Estimate votes on both his arterial highway and slum clearance plans this week. So he is bullying everyone into submission. Pulling out his files. Oh, it's detestable. It sickens the soul. If I do dream that someone will pull out a file on him. And we've been working on it. Believe me. We're almost out of time. God damn it. Sons of bitches. <laughs> 